Scientists have figured out the Achilles heel of cancer. They discovered how to fight it using the immune system that identifies and eradicates cancerous growth. Cancer is a system that has gotten out of control. Actually, all of our cells can turn cancerous. The thing is that each cell consumes and excretes whatever it needs. It consumes what it needs for its functioning. But what does it function for? To sustain the entire system of the organism, to the benefit of the other cells. Yes, its main task is to work to the benefit of the other cells. It receives only what it needs for its own existence, for the sake of the other cells. This is how any life system works, except for humans, except for our own mind. Therefore, as soon as we begin thinking incorrectly, meaning only about ourselves, right, then our system gets influenced by these thoughts and desires, thus giving a start to a similar program at the cellular level. Then, the system begins consuming everything for its own benefit, leaving nothing for others, and this is how a cancerous tumor is formed. Meaning, just like mankind is a cancerous growth on the face of the earth, look how marvelous our planet is, everything's so beautiful. Whatever is happening on earth, at the still, vegetative and animate levels, that everything devours everything else. It occurs only because it stems from the human level. This is what is written in the Torah, that once Adam has sinned, everyone began devouring each other. While prior to that, everything was in harmony. So, roughly, this is when cancer began. Yes, and in the end, humanity consumes itself. I have a straight question. If we understand and accept this, can we find a cure for cancer? Of course, but not at this level. All problems are solved at a higher level. A signal, an instruction is being transmitted from the higher level to the lower level. So the solution lies at the root, meaning that we have to solve the problem in our mind, in our attitude toward each other. As soon as human relationships become mutual, kind, benevolent, and all of us unite into one wholesome system, all the systems that are controlled by our mind and heart will gradually come into balance, and everything will stabilize in the world and the wolf shall graze with the lamb, and a little boy shall shepherd them both, and everything will be fine.